Hi guys, today we're at the Classica Refugium near Stuttgart. Not far away from here is probably one of the best kept places in the automotive sector, the Porsche Development Center in Weissach. And as you can see in the background today, we're going to give you a special insight into the heart of it, the Porsche Design Studio. We will unveil exclusively some studies that have been well kept secrets up to now. So here's a little sneak peek for, uh, well, no. Stay tuned for our Porsche Talk Unseen. our next guest. He's a photographer and the editor of the magazine Curves, Stefan Bogner. Great to have you here. Hi, Hi. Stefan. Thank you. Hi. You were involved in that project from the very first moment. So tell us something. How did that project came about and how much persuasion did you have to put into it to convince the people that it's a good idea to show all those insights into the sacred halls of the design studio? Well, the birth of uh, Unseen was while taking pictures already of some cars. And I know the, the, the Porsche brand through the 356, through the 911, through the race cars, Boxster, of course. And there's so much more going on in Weissach. I would call it the Weissach vibe. And there was a simple question while we had some good coffee at your studio. <laughs> Why don't we show it to the public? A very easy question, actually. Um, so that's how it started. So you created uh, a hashtag for right now, uh, the Weissach vibe, very cool. But uh, Michael, I have to ask you that. How many calls did you have to make to convince your, your colleagues and, and all the other guys in your office to say, yeah, that's a good idea, let's show it to the audience? That's uh, another secret, not of the <laughs> car industry, that's my secret. Uh, there were some, uh, let's say, talks, meetings, because it's very unusual for the car industry to, uh, to show this uh, yeah, secret stuff to the uh, public. Yeah, but we're so happy that you decided to do that, actually. And now we come to our next revelation moment. And I think we can lift here that and... I just tell the people that this is the Porsche Vision Spider. And maybe, Michael, you can tell us what is the basic idea of this design study? Yeah, again, uh, always different starting points, but uh, as well, based on the discussions uh, during our espresso meetings, <laughs> it's always this smaller, puristic, uh, reduced car where basically the Porsche brand took its start. That's uh, always something we are dealing with in that special case and we have done different models in that special case it was all about uh, trying to build up a relation to a historic uh, car the 550 um, and that was then the inspiration and we took some elements like the 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 painting or how the fenders are done we took this inspiration from from the back from the past from the James Dean past. I see the sparkle in the eyes and I hand over to you, Stefan. Yeah, I just, uh, it's very nice. This car is, means a lot to me because I just do a book uh, about the 550 Spider for uh, two years already. And we just drove uh, two cars on the Alpine road. It's such a fantastic small car. And that's, I think the DNA of Porsche is small and powerful and light. And this car reflects it perfectly. You know, it's just, it's not big, it's very small. It has all the little details um, from the 550, like uh, like the back here, the fender. You know, it's called Little Rebel, you can't see. 
you see all the air intakes. Uh, of course, the the color uh, blocking silver red is, is is so nice. So it's just I think a perfect new interpretation of the 550 of the legend. I, I want to jump in with a question because I know your magazine from very cool cars on a curvy road, but now you have here a static car in a clean environment. How difficult was it to take those cool and fancy pictures? <laughs> very easy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> the design was so exciting. You can't say anything different, I know. <laughs> uh, of course, I like them driving more, but it, you know, the cars are so beautiful. It, uh, the, and the concept was uh, taking pictures at their birthplace. You know, we just had 20 meters around uh, the studio to, to take pictures. But, you know, everybody who sees that car, even not moving, imagines his own picture. One is like, drives somewhere in around San Francisco. The other mind is somewhere in the Alpine Road. So it's okay to not drive it. So, Michael, the origin um, idea or the origin car you looked at was the 550 of James Dean. So what impressed you most and inspired you most of that car back then? Yeah, you know, in, in general, if we do a design, one thing is just the surface treatment and the design. But we always want to express uh, and, um, le let's say, influence the, the fantasy of customers that look at the car. And uh, I mean, again, James Dean uh, as an actor with the 550, I mean, that has, that's, this is really an experience at itself. And uh, as a designer working for Porsche, you have to look back to that car because it's not just the shape of the car, it's everything that you, let's say, connect with this. And we wanted to bring all of this feeling, uh, even though none of the designer who worked on this was uh, born at that time back there. But that was the idea to bring this into the design of that car, that when people look at it, no matter if it's driving or standing around, that you immediately have all these pictures in your mind. Maybe you can show us some details here, what um, is very interesting from your designer perspective. Yeah, again, what I said, I mean, first of all, and as uh, Stefan mentioned, it's a small, very compact car, um, which is really a challenge. Uh, we were talking about technologies with today's technology, so very compact. Then, as well, details where we wanted to introduce new design elements, for example, this headlamp. I mean, the 550 Spider had these round headlamps. Um, so that could be maybe maybe the next evolution of that uh, headlamp. Then, as we said, uh, with this color scheme, uh, very um, yeah, uh, subtle hints to the past. Um, then on the back again, um, it is the, the treatment of the surface, um, the tension that is in these surfaces, is typical Porsche, is the modern characteristics, but again, with some elements, you can easily f uh, see the connection to this 550 Spider. And that's how we try to do things, uh, even when we look back into history, that it is not a replica, um, but it's a modern interpretation of the theme back there. So, Stefan, if I allowed you to take just one picture of a detail of the car, what would you choose? I would choose the back. <laughs> <laughs> again yeah again the back <laughs> I love this detail you know it's 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 of course something Porsche lovers like you know because they know what what, what this means yeah so I'm going for this line okay and um, Michael, you've been a chief designer at Porsche since 2004. That makes you only the third uh, chief designer after Ferdinand Alexander Porsche. And he is well known as a functionalist. So yeah. do you have that spirit always in your mind when you design cars and even when you test things with your design studies? Uh, we, we try hard. And I think whenever you have a car uh, or a brand like Porsche and cars has this performance, uh, you even have to stick to the functionality because an air intake has a function. Either it's cooling from the engine, from the brakes, or it's aerodynamics. So uh, I think we very much live this uh, culture um, and try to give each and every detail a function. 
But as I said as well, even the design itself has the function uh, to excite people. Stefan, what was your first thought when you saw that car the first time? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Drive it right now. All right. Was, uh, yeah. So um, at the end, I want to know because it's a design study. Which um, yeah, information did you take out of it to use it for other design studies? Or was, or was it just like, oh gosh, this was a, a playground for, for designers and it was so cool, but we can't yeah. use anything of it? So <laughs> that was definitely the case that we had a lot of uh, fun working on this. Um, again, um, it shows that uh, we as designers uh, have a very good idea how we can further develop the design language, the surface language. We showed as well that uh, a small car could be very attractive. Um, and as I mentioned with the headlamps, even in the details, uh, there will be a lot of inspiration for future products. Um, so, but uh, still as a designer, you always hope and keep your fingers crossed that uh, your ideas once hit the road. Thank you.